me what you're doing. Well, we saw something on the blog. And someone made this for the bathroom floor and we'd like to try it because it looks kind of interesting, we think. You have to turn it a quarter oh, side. Oh, it's this one. No, no, no. It's this one. No, it's, uh, it's this one. Ah, see? This is a small, too small piece, I think. for two months. We have been out driving a couple of times just for the batteries. And even though we weren't living in it, it's just amazing how much dust gets into something like this. As it seems that the quarantines will be, I will not say lifted, but there will be more freedom. We probably can go and travel around a bit. We have to go to Truro for some business. And then we might come back here, or we just go and see the sights in Nova Scotia. Hopefully we can do that. Done. in that drill. <laughs> Ever since we had this fan we were annoyed by one little thing is that the screens operate in our opinion the wrong way. So if you open up the window you cannot use your blinds to get some fresh air. So what we want to do is probably remove, apparently it's going to be removing the panel. And apparently after that you can just somehow flip it over. So that's what we're going to try today. We have to remove the cabinet for the what the DVD player is in. Because there's a big screw in the back there. And then, yeah, those screws. And then... When that cabinet is gone, we can flip away the TV, then loosen those screws and apparently can remove the whole panel. After which we have access to the wall, the window, with the screens in it and which we can apparently rotate for 180 degrees and tighten it up again. So that's <coughs> hopefully the plan what's going to work today. Phase one.
Ciao. The easy to reach spots. Got it. First page. So this is the inside of the van. There is some. There is some insulation, but apparently this can be. This should be filled up also to make it more warmer. But okay. So I think it's wise if you bring this one inside. Yeah, put and it do flat it on, on the, the table. table. Yeah. Okay. And then remove the four screws, and then it's just I presume it's 180. Screw it back on. Bring it back in. Yeah. Finding the first hole to was get tricky. the screw in was a little bit tricky, but now, got yeah, it. now it seems like it's a little bit easier. So we're gonna put all those screws in again, and up there, and then Bob's your uncle. Hopefully. It took us about half an hour, yeah. maybe 45 minutes. So now finally if we have the window open. The screen will just let the fresh air through. Because if you look at the other side, which we still have to do, here if we have the window open, the there's no flow. There's no flow, yeah, because he, he, this is where the screen is. So. And now you can just put your sc uh, privacy screen as as close as you want it, but still some fresh air coming in through the open window. I love it. <laughs> Should have done this. At the factory. Yes, exactly. But it's an easy... It's an easy fix. If you can find the holes at the right, correct spot again. But yes. it worked out, so on to the next one. So the other side is a little bit more difficult because there is the... Maybe not. The... How do you call those things? This the... For the air conditioning. So hopefully there's some kind of cable behind there which can be clicked out. Oops. That might make this easy, life easy, hopefully. Oh, yeah, that's logisch. Here we go. This morning there were fisher boats all over the place and they were setting lobster traps because lobster season is starting tomorrow. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but there are buoys everywhere where there are lobster traps. So I hope tomorrow morning I can catch them while they are getting in the lobster. The plan is to eat lobster tomorrow evening. Mm. It's time to get the lobster traps in. They started this morning at 5. I don't know whether you can see it.
Dave Rudman. 